It's Surah Muhammad, verse number 33. Allah says, O oh, you who have believed, obey Allah and obey the Messenger, peace be upon him, and do not invalidate your deeds. So, as we already know, Ramadan is over, and now the real test begins that who is gonna be on Allah's path? Who is gonna obey Allah and His Messenger after the Ramadan? We see many people are good in Ramadan, they will follow Islam, they will follow all the rules and principles. But when Ramadan is over, they come back to their own deeds, what they were doing before Ramadan. So here, this verse explains the condition of such people because they think that their Ramadan was good, they did all the good deeds, these deeds will be written in their book of deeds, and Allah will consider these deeds in Qayyama and will give them reward in this world and in the hereafter. But Allah, in this verse, clearly rejects this claim. He rejects this thought. He says, Obey Allah and obey Messenger, and do not let your deeds be in vain. What does that mean? It means even you have done a lot of deeds in Ramadan in the past, but the day you stop obeying Allah, obeying His Messenger, all your previous deeds will go in vain. Allah is warning you, He will not count your those deeds in Qayyama. And this verse is basically about jihad. In this verse, Allah was actually warning. The people who refused to come with Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him in the battle. They used to say we are okay in our homes. We will offer our prayers. We will give zakah. We will fast. We will do everything but in our homes we will not come with you in the battle. So when they rejected to come with Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him. Allah revealed this verse to warn them that if you disobey Allah. If you disobey his messenger. Because disobeying his messenger means disobeying Allah. So if you disobey me at any point of your life, you think that Allah will count your previous deeds and will ignore your this mistake? Okay, for example, you have done 100 good deeds and one day you stop following Allah and His Messenger. So you think your previous deeds will be counted? No. You have to listen to Allah and His Messenger throughout your life. You cannot reject them at any point of your life. So in Ramadan, when you were wearing your hijab, so after Ramadan, don't stop wearing it. In Ramadan, you lowered your gaze. So after Ramadan, don't stop lowering your gaze. You are not talking to non marams unnecessarily. So don't talk to them after Ramadan. You are not listening to haram songs. So don't listen to songs after Ramadan. In short, don't disobey Allah ever in your life. So it was not just about jihad. Allah made a general statement by saying obey Allah and his messenger and only then he will validate your deeds. So if you disobey Allah and his messenger, he will not count your any deed. So inshallah we will try to stop committing sins this whole year and throughout our life and we will pray Allah to forgive our sins.